This is our original character with details. And this is the same character as a custom metahuman. You can use the mesh to metahuman method or metapipe to make this. I used metapipe. Our goal is to give the original character the metahuman body and facial rig deformations without changing the topology. I would like to thank Sankofa Asayi Productions for allowing me to use their character for this video. You'll find their links below. Step 1. Align the metahuman and the original character in the same position and pose by moving and aligning the joints, including the fingers for both sides. I already did this to my original character, so here's my result. You can hide the original character for now. Step 2. Combine DHI body and DHI head joints. These joints have weights and are moved by the root driver using constraints. Open the outliner, hide the root driver, and unhide the DHI body joints. Open it until you see this. DHI body spine 4, and parent DHI head spine 4 with it by middle mouse and dragging it. This creates one joint system. Alternatively, you can use Maya 2024's new feature for combining two separate joint systems. Help. Step 3. Bind the original character to the combined DHI body rig. Select the DHI body, right-click, select hierarchy, and shift-click the original character. Go to rigging, select skin, open bind skin options, choose heat map, and apply. If it doesn't work, reset the setting and use the default ones. Step 4. Copy skin weights from the combined metahuman mesh. In the outliner, open body rig all the way until you see a mesh with combined in its name. Select it, then select the original character. Go to rigging, select skin, copy skin weights, and apply my settings. For the head, select vertices to be controlled by the meta human face controls. Then head back to the outliner, select the head LOD zero mesh here, shift select the original character, then go to rigging, select skin, copy skin weights. We now have a working body and mouth. Step 5. Bind the eyes, tongue and teeth to the respective joints. For the eyes, search for the facial LI parallel or the facial RI parallel in the outliner. Select it, then select the respective eye mesh and bind. For the teeth, bind to the facial C jaw and copy the weights. Step 6. Clean up skin weights. By now you might have noticed a few vertices not following the proper joints. We need to fix this. Select your original body mesh, go to rigging, select skin, then open the paint skin weights options. Switch to select mode, select a vertex next to the rogue vertex. Use the first tool to copy the weights of the selected vertex. Then the second tool to paste the copied weights into the rogue vertex. This should snap the vertex to the proper position. Continue this process for all other rogue vertices. If copying and pasting weights isn't enough, use this tool to average out the vertex weights. Be cautious, as this process can consume a lot of RAM. Avoid doing it multiple times at once to prevent Maya from crashing. For the teeth, the process is similar. However, you can copy the weights of one vertex and paste them to all other vertices simultaneously. Step 7. Clean up the outliner by grouping everything that your original character uses and removing unused items. Create a group called Original Character and include the DHI body, root driver, Edric group, and the original character meshes. Step 8. This is the most important step if you want to start animating your character. Setting up controls for the original character. Check this video out and I'll meet you guys there.